This is actually not a how-to video on repairing a still MS-290. I am just going to explain how to get this pin out so that one can remove the entire engine block. It is threaded into the base of the engine block. So that is actually threaded. And I'll show you. That is threaded. And since there is no way to grab that pin and turn it out, what I did was I put on the usual nut and tightened it. Uh, so it was nice and snug. Then I put on the second one. Which would sure help if I had two hands, maybe three. So the second one goes on. And then one uses a wrench only on the bottom nut. This is called a stop nut or a jam nut. But you take the wrench and only get it on the bottom nut and then you can back it out so it finally comes out. This has been a tedious task replacing the entire engine block because the cylinder got a little worn and the piston lost all compression. And I'm thinking the gas and oil mixture has not been rich enough with oil. So that's why it quit. So I'm getting a whole new engine block. All of these parts new for $63. So I'll essentially have a rebuilt engine new chainsaw that should last many more years. I wanted to also mention that replacing the engine on a still MS-290 is a staggering amount of work. Just amazing. Hours and hours and hours just to get it apart. If anybody has problems with their engine, such as low compression, which I did, and they need their chainsaw rather quickly, they should have a professional do it. Since I have around five years worth of firewood, I'm in no hurry to get this chainsaw working again. Also noteworthy, some engine blocks for the MS290 are being sold with a decompression port. This is to help people start the engine, if they're weak I guess. But, if they are weak, perhaps they should not be using a chainsaw. So I got an engine head and it had the decompression port, so I have sent it back. Shut up, Lola. It's mine, Lola. Let go of my hide. It's from my kill pup. It's not yours. This is Uncle David's. He's a psycho pup. Yeah. <laughs>